Welcome to the tutorial drawing using invisible lines. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the various tools and editing tools that you can use to add invisible lines to your drawing. So the first tool that you can use to draw invisible lines is the pencil tool. You have to go to the tools properties panel and then change the pencil width to zero. Then if you click somewhere in your camera space and zoom in Let's go over here to the rabbit's nose because as you see um, it's been left disconnected because we didn't want a solid black line defining the top. So if you draw a line like that, you can connect the top of the nose and make it a solid shape to be filled. Um, the message here tells you that the stroke that you've now drawn won't be seen unless you actually activate the show drawing strokes option. So I'm going to say OK, but actually I'm going to say don't show this message again because I do know that. So I'm going to say OK, and as you see the line disappears because right now I'm in the mode that does not show drawing strokes. So you can hit the keyboard shortcut D to show strokes. You see the strokes everywhere, um, around the eyebrow, you know, around all the eye, eyeball here, but also the invisible stroke that you drew. Um, in the menu, if you need to find it, it's under view, show, show strokes. So we'll turn that back on again. And one thing that you can do um, if you don't like the exact way that your line turned out is you can use the contour editor tool to edit that line. And you can use all the same rules that you learned when um, using the contour editor tool. You can click on a point, pull it upwards, you can actually click on a line as well and bend it if you need to. You can click on the point to get its, its Bezier handlebars that you can make it into a nice smooth curve. Um, where this point interacts with these other lines are shown by these square blue points which is important because that's how you know a shape is closed. So because we see one here and one, one here and at the other two intersections for these gaps, so this gap and this gap are flanked by two blue squares, we know for sure this is a closed shape. So you can also select an endpoint to a line and delete it like that if you want. Which I'm not sure I showed before, so you can actually select sections of a line and delete. And you know that it warns you that this section has been deleted by the red and yellow squares at the ends there. So I'm just going to fix this up a bit. Maybe push that in. Yeah, fix that curve. So now this shape is ready to be filled. We can choose this, choose the paint bucket, and fill the shape like that. And then if you click on the keyboard shortcut D, you can see that there's no black line but that the rabbit nose filled. So the second way of creating invisible lines is actually to use the stroke tool. And it's under the paint tool. So it's this one right here. And this tool actually has a couple options that we can discuss in the tool properties panel. Um, the first one allows you to draw perfectly straight lines because usually when you're drawing, let's turn on the D option again, um, like this you can create curves. But if you're doing something architectural once again or some object where the highlights or shadows that you'd like to create, which is the main reason people draw invisible lines, um, needs to be perfectly straight. Let's see for example maybe somewhere on the leg. And you can use this option to draw perfectly straight lines. Like that, say for example. And then to finish that connection, you should definitely draw another line to close it off. So now you can paint this, say, uh, a darker, a darker shade, and then make this a lighter shade, like that. So let's go back to the stroke tool, and the next option in the panel is the um, connect line ends option. So that's a pretty important option because that guarantees that every time you draw a line it'll snap to the various contours around it so that for sure the new area you're creating is fillable. 
Um, let me give you an example. So right now I don't have the option on, and if I draw a stroke close to the collar and let go, so let's turn on the show strokes option, um, you'll see that it's not connected here. Um, and that there's at least this warning with the yellow and red box that my line hasn't made it to the end to touch this blue contour line. Um, but sometimes when you're far away and you're doing this very quickly, you might not notice that, and there could be a gap as a result. So then if I turn on this option and draw a line, you'll see that even as I approached the blue contour line perpendicular, the line extended forward and snapped to the end. Um, the one uh, sort of downside about this is that you can't draw curved lines um, if you want this snapping option to work. Um, you're only going to be able to draw straight lines almost as if you had this option enabled as well. So uh, let me fill that in to show you what that might look like. And as you see here, it, on it only filled up to this solid boundary and where the boundary did not connect, obviously, it passed right through. So I think there are two more options left in the Tool Properties panel for the Stroke Tool, and those are the Auto Flatten and the Smoothing, um, both options you've seen before. So the Auto Flatten, what that does, it'll take any stroke that you make and it'll connect it to the contour stroke that it intersects with. And obviously the smoothing will uh, make a shaky line more smooth. It'll smooth out the curve of any sort of shaky line that you might create. And then you can paint it in the same way. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial drawing using invisible lines. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Advanced Painting.